All right, we're back now live at the Hacienda at Synthesis 2012. So many beautiful people, amazing things going on. We are joined now by Dr. Raja from my hometown, Asheville, North Carolina, talking about some amazing things. But first, let's talk about the portal being open. December 22nd, we're all still here. Tell us about these energies and what's transpiring, what's coming through. Dr. Raja. Well, thank you. I am an interplanetary ambassador. I'm, in fact, a as you can see by my beard here, an elder senior ambassador from the stars. And I have been doing this work on planet Earth consciously for 33 years, mm. watching the changes. And this is the grandest change of them all. This particular change has involved sightings of ships, mm. blue comets streaking through the skies, red comets coming down. It was my job to come here to give an address of the state of the affairs according to the interplanetary beings and how humans are developing and what mm. this is about, the galactic alignment. But right now we're having ships, chronomonitors, orbs, and rods coming down, working on people's DNA. The first were the blue starborn, the chosen, were activated first, a few days before the galactic activation. Mm. And now the portal is open. Last night people reported seeing triangle ships hovering above, chronomonitors, mm. and what the guides are saying are, are these are... Uh, designed to activate the sacred geometry within the cellular structure of humanity and the DNA of the advanced star seed so that the changes will take effect. And like the hundredth monkey, all those that were at these sacred sites aligned to the pyramids, then they will go and activate others. And they will have that love and joy and awakened star seed within them. And this is probably the most exciting time that Absolutely. I have been alive in my 62 years on Earth. Absolutely. And, and for the people out there that hear some of this talk and information that don't know what star seeds are or UFOs or ETs, this is ancient information. The proof is everywhere. Every indigenous tribe on the planet knew we came from the stars. So if you don't know this information, do your homework. Raja, tell us about this amazing energy that's here at Synthesis 2012. Oh, this amazing energy. Synthesis 2012 is truly perhaps the most remarkable festival that I have ever been blessed to mm. be a part of because this is what we're creating with it. You can see people are either creating negative energy or they're creating the positive energy mm. or they're here swept in the flow of the divine blessings. And as ambassadors and elders, it's our job to see the energies and to help orchestrate them a little bit without, you know, being domineering in any way. But absolutely, Synthesis 2012 has got me swept up into <laughs> such an ecstasy. The beings here who have put together this tremendous blessing for all of us simply to experience have given us a magic carpet to ride into. And it's like, I feel like I'm in Bali, Hawaii, Yucatan, and Tibet all rolled into one. Mm. And what a blessing Synthesis 2012 has brought to the planet. Do you agree, Jonah? Abs absolutely. I, I think what we're releasing here is information that's ancient information. It's the law of attraction. And that's the biggest secret that they don't want us to know is just how powerful every single one of us are. We're all leaders. It's the law of attraction. That's why religion and other things were put into place so all of us are preoccupied with other things. But we're here to harness that light and let everybody know everyone is a leader. Every single person. That's the biggest secret. We're here sharing this information with all. I see some amazing things here. And the first thing, obviously, I want to talk about is this mask. Raja, can you tell us about this amazing mask here? Well, as you can see on the top is a star, crystalline star tetrahedron wrapped in copper. And there are double, double helix crystals placed two out. But this is actually an emerald is in the nose cone. is actually a being that came to me whose name is Futron that was designed by an artist who uses this information to bring his work through. I had a vision about uh, 27 years ago in Tibet mm. when I was meditating with St. Germain. St. Germain let me know that the difference and the energies that's connected between the ascended masters who guide and help this planet and the future star beings is a reality because this is an example of the being mm. from the future and that I was one of those living in the human body. And that we all have this star tetrahedron, uh, metatronic uh, work through the Kabbalah, the tree of life, and the Merkaba to travel to other dimensions, other planets, and to get codes and messages, powers and energies and blessings from the ships that we work mm. with. And so this really is a replica, an artistic design of a futuristic being like a cyborg who is part Mercury 
and beyond the carbon-based matter that humans are. This is a real image of a star seed of the future, uh, like a praying mantis being that has gone even beyond the praying mantis stage and actually has the sacred geometry built into it. Well, Roger, I could feel my hand buzzing already just by holding this, so I got I to gotta try it on. And we're, we're, we're all crystalline structures, so this energy, this crystalline matrix, once we sync up with this information, we get those downloads. Can you tell us some more about the energy in the crystalline structure? Yes, absolutely. Did you know we all have crystals within us? In our pineal gland is a, one of the most brilliant, bright crystals of all. And it helps us to have develop the third eye so that we can focus on and see. My Lord, look at that. Isn't that something? It, it's a perfect, a perfect fit over here for Jonah. Jonah bolt from the stars. See? And actually with the crown chakra and the third eye have crystals. And you're able to use that if you develop it or if it's developed. Most humans don't have the development. But through meditations or through sacred studies, even on the Internet, you can research material and your brain and your third eye will correlate that. And now with the awakened DNA that all humanity is getting during this new portal, we are like in a vacuum being sucked along, mm. whether we like it or not, down a large tube into a new space. And for those of us who are, uh, can feel it, I felt today the greatest blessing and energy from the sun, the new day like I was born again, were to forget the past and to go forward only in love and light. And our third eye will lead us, our crown chakras. Mm. So this is an example of the future, which is now. Absolutely. And some of these other devices that are here, and these are all tools to help us bring in this energy, this crystalline structure, the singing bowls, the frequencies. Tell us about this, because this you could actually charge your food and other things with, correct? These are built by Nick Edwards, and he's a designer of the Archatron, which is a, a small replica of the Ark of the Covenant, which is sacred geometry mm. designed to bring in angelic energies to charge anything, to purify any space to get rid of any negative type of entities that are trying to come in and control humanity. And that's the higher work of sacred geometry. When you're in alignment with the flow and the grid, you know exactly what you have. And over here, Nick designed pyramids that are replicas of the Great Pyramid in Giza. Mm -hmm. And on the top is a sacred geometrical form. You can charge your crystals, your gemstones, food, and even in meditation, you can sit within them. And so the pyramid structures at this time, the reason that we have them here with us is because the pyramids of Great Egypt and of the entire Yucatan, from Honduras to El Salvador mm. to Yucatan, Tabasco, Chiapas, Oaxaca, all of that in Quintana Roo was one big pyramidal design. And throughout mm. it was crystalline pyramids receiving energies from the Pleiades and from Venus. And these are also little miniatures that you can have to take home that energy. And so that's what they do. <laughs> One of the most amazing things is the s sequence of over 850 events from around the world. So first I want to give a shout out to Adam Apollo who's at the Giza temples, did ceremony in the king's chambers. Thank you for that. And that's what's so important. There's over 5 million people gathered in the Yucatan alone. All of us putting that intention forward. All of us focusing on this one day. And now all of us coming together, we're bringing this information out mainstream. And one of the most important things, which of course I want to talk about, is, is the candlelight ceremony and the peak of the winter solstice. How was that for you, the candlelight at 5.11 a.m. yesterday? Oh, that was ecstatic. Um, waking up at 4.30 in the morning, which I usually don't wake up until 5 a.m. I had to wake up a half hour earlier today, or yesterday it was. And hundreds of people outside lined up in a single file in front of a beautiful resort called the Pyramid Resort. And we're all, many of us, dressed in white, sacred energies. Mm. And we are having a beautiful lion pot with a candle lit. And we were all chanting, Hoonam Hu Om, in sacred intent to welcome in the energies. We were singing natural roots African songs of peace on earth and bringing in the energies. And we were all caught up as a family, all of us equal to one another in single file, in one line, brother and sister behind one another, 
creating in the heart space a new world, a new earth, believing that we were here together as a family to create that. That's what synthesis has allowed us to do. So it's very wonderful to be a part of that. I felt so humble and so honored and blessed to be here with brothers and sisters of similar vision, Absolutely. gathered from around the dimensions to participate in that during that candlelight ceremony. And when you and when you talk dimensions, just so people at home know, this this last year has been amazing release of information. NASA themselves has done the Einstein time and space experiment, which concluded there's a fourth dimension vortex around space. The head archaeologist in Egypt released last year the pyramids were not built just by humans. The government themselves released last year a document that claimed Roswell. They did recover three bodies and a craft. So the information's out there. People just need to hear it. Do your own homework. Don't listen to us, but check this information out. It's powerful, powerful information to show people and let people know that don't understand some of the stuff we're talking about. But we definitely feel the energy here just a mile from Chichen Itza. The president of Mexico himself showed up yesterday at the pyramid. Amazing times. Tell us about some of the future things you have coming up also in 2013 and what that might be like for humanity. Well, we plan to do a, um, a journey to the sarcophagus in Egypt mm. so that each pilgrim can lie in the chamber. It's now activated. And once you lie in the, in the great pyramid, in the king's sarcophagus in the great pyramid, and in the queen's chamber in the great pyramid at the sacred sites, the DNA will be activated, and all of those beings will be aligned with the very high energy. Now, also in the pyramids all along this base, and also in um, one other place is escaping my Along my the mind. 31 degrees, I know. We, all of us need to go all of the sacred sites and take the DNA that was activated at this time and go to all of the sacred sites around the world the temples of India, and activate these temples with the new DNA that you're consciously anchoring into your being mm. these, these three days. So if you've done that during these three days, you'll be called upon to take this energy to these other places. Absolutely. Well, the energy is definitely here. We're surrounded by thousands of people all around, and this event has been amazing. A little chaotic at times, but hey, we're in Mexico. Things happen. It's not always what you plan, but the harmony stays the same. Everyone working together, being together, that's what's most important. The event's still going on, and everyone's staying together, doing what they can. So, Dr. Raja, thank you for coming on the air and coming on the show, and we look forward. Give us your website where people can find out more information. Thank you. I would like to say that my website is managed from Venus by my beloved twin flame, Moira, who is now a goddess from Venus, beaming love down to us all, and it's stardoves.com. And we also maintain that, that um, website from Beloved Asheville, which is a very sacred vortex. Right, Brother Jonah? Ab absolutely. There's, there's 24 major vortexes there, the oldest mountain range in the world. And uh, the energy, the crystal beds that are underneath those vortexes create such a powerful flux. It's very magical and special. So if you haven't been to Asheville, look Dr. Raj up, look me up, and we'll show you around. We have another website called Vortex Tours Asheville. Dot com, and that will tell you about the Vortex tours that we do in Asheville. Stardoves.com is our website. We want to see all the beans come there and come with us and welcome to the new world. And what an honor and joy Absolutely. to have this thank opportunity, Jonah, to be Absolutely. with you. Absolutely. Yes. And thank you all. Light and love.